Hi there, my name is Alana and here at Classy on the Run we love talking about luxury and high-end makeup and beauty. Today I am so excited. I can't even believe I have both of these. Today we are going to be comparing the absolutely iconic Kate Spade heart bag with the iconic coach heart shaped handbag. So in today's video, we're gonna chat a little bit about these bags. We are going to see what fits inside of them. I'm gonna show you how they each fit and wear. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to share my final recommendation. So unless you live under a rock, you guys know that both of these bags, and in particular, I'd say the Kate Spade one, have gone absolutely viral on TikTok. And for good reason. I mean, they are absolutely adorable bags. They're fun shapes, but they're still functional, which I think is really key when it comes to novelty bags. They're cute, they're fun, they're functional. We are heading into February, it's Valentine's Day. And who doesn't need a little something to just brighten up their life and brighten up their outfits in these not so ideal times? So both Kate Spade and Coach are owned by Tapestry. And I think it's really interesting that Tapestry has released a heart-shaped bag for kind of each of their two main brands. Now they also own Stuart Wiseman, but I, I really think of Coach and Kate Spade as almost like Coke and Pepsi. A lot of people are either a Kate Spade girl or a Coach girl. And what I think is interesting is the bags that they've released each, I think, really represent the brand really well. The Kate Spade bag is youthful, it's fun, it's very, very sweet. And the Coach bag, while it is those things, it has a little bit more of a maturity and an edge to it. Now, before we get into what fits inside these bags, I wanted to highlight some of the key differences. So to start off, the Kate Spade bag is larger than the Coach bag. You can see it, but they are approximately the same width. So let's start off with the Kate Spade bag. It does come with an adjustable strap, which we'll get to in a moment, but I find it easier when I'm filming not to have to navigate that around. So there's a single zipper, but it has two zip pulls. So if you'd like, you could have both of the pulls on one side, or you could have them meet in the middle. Now when you open up the bag, it is a single compartment. So when you open up the bag, it's a single compartment, and this bag will fit your iPhone. And I will say the leather has a little bit of a texture to it, which is great because if you are gonna be using this bag and have the potential to be scratching it, um, it's not going to show up as well. So it's a pretty good hard wearing leather. Now the coach bag is smaller and it has two compartments. So each side has one zipper. You open it up, this side is where I keep my little odds and ends. This is actually the purse that I'm using right now in my sorta everyday life. And back, that's where I've been keeping my wallet and keys. So for this bag, you don't have as much flexibility for what fits inside because you do have two smaller compartments. While the Kate Spade bag is a light pink single colored bag, the Coach is actually a two-tone. So it has a deeper pink on the front and back, and then it has this beautiful red around the side. And I think that, along with the more prominent zippers, really gives it a little bit more of a maturity and a little bit more of an edge to it. Another important thing to know about both of these bags is they are both outlet bags. So you'll have to find your way to a Kate Spade or Coach outlet to pick these up. Stay tuned for the end of the video because I have a great tip if you are keen to pick up the Kate Spade one in particular. Both of these bags may be worn crossbody. So this is the strap for Kate Spade. And as you can see, it's pink leather all throughout. And it has seven different places where you can place the strap, which I think gives a lot of versatility. So whether you're taller or shorter, you're going to be able to find a way for this bag to fit comfortably on you. Personally, I like to wear this bag on the last setting. And that's because I find when I'm wearing this crossbody, the top handle of this bag sticks up quite a bit. And I can find it a little bit uncomfortable on my body. So I like to wear this quite low. But generally speaking, I like to wear my crossbody bags low. I'll also say living in Canada, of course, I'm wearing my winter jacket um, in these very, very cold times. I think it was minus 17 today. Um, anyway, so if you live in Canada and you're wearing a jacket, you're probably gonna want a little bit more space so that way the bag can still sit nicely on you when you're wearing a parka. Now the strap for the coach bag is part leather and part gold chain, and it has nine different holes that you can place the bag. I like to wear mine on the third last hole. I find if I'm wearing it on the longest one, it definitely sits too low on me and I find that uncomfortable. But having nine different options of where to place it, again, is really great to accommodate a variety of bodies, a variety of sizes, and if you live in Canada, a variety of winter coats. Now, before we get into seeing what fits in each bag, I wanted to do a little bit of a size comparison. So here we have the Coach bag. So the Coach bag is a deeper pink, has red on the side, gold hardware, and it has a zip here and here, which we'll get into. The Kate Spade bag is a lighter pink. As you can see, it is a larger bag and it only has one compartment. And I would describe the Kate Spade hardware as light gold. This bag has a vinyl interior, 
Whereas the coach bag also has a vinyl interior. So let's take a quick size comparison. I'm gonna show you a couple of different views. This is from the top, from the side. And as you can see, the Kate Spade bag is larger. But I will say that the coach bag is, as I'm doing a quick comparison here, the coach bag and the Kate Spade bag are actually equally as thick, but I'd say the coach bag feels thicker because it is smaller. So let's get into an overview of the coach bag first. So the coach bag again has a gold hardware and has a double zip. So here is the first zip compartment, little card holder on the side. And as you can see, it zips up quite nicely. There's one zipper there and one zipper on the back. So I'm gonna open up the back compartment. No real card holder, but there is a little, uh, little tag here. The bag also comes with this little tag. And again, it has the gold hardware. I'd say that the hardware on the coach bag is definitely more noticeable than it is on the Kate Spade. And overall, I think the coach bag feels cooler. It has a little bit more of an edge to it. I think the coach bag feels a bit more mature. So we're gonna set that aside over there for a moment and take a look at Miss Kate Spade. Now, the Kate Spade bag, again, has a single compartment and a double zip. So you open it up, there's immediately much more space in it. And what's kind of neat with the double zip is you are able to zip it so the zippers come together in the middle. You can also, of course, have the zippers meet up on the side. The hardware overall is not as obvious on this bag. It's a lot more subdued. And I'd say overall, this bag is more youthful and sweeter. Both bags have detachable straps, which we will get into later. So let's see what fits inside the coach bag. So I'm gonna start with some things that don't fit. So this is a Louis Vuitton mini pochette. And as you can see, it does not fit in the bag. So we're gonna take that out of the running. I also wanted to show you a compact wallet. So this is a smaller YSL wallet. And while it fits, you have the edge just popping out here and I'd be worried about the edge wear on the wallet and I'd be worried about bulging out the bag. So we are not gonna be able to hold a small wallet in this bag. So when I use this bag, I tend to use my card holder. So I'm gonna put that in the front compartment. The other thing that's essential for me is my Louis Vuitton key pouch and this keeps my keys safe. And that basically takes up most of the space we have in that front compartment. We can fit a little bit more though, so I'm gonna pop in my AirPods, which is an essential for me. And I'm also gonna pop in a hand sanitizer because it is 2022. Everything fits in there neatly without any bulging. So let's get to what I put in the back compartment. So I'm gonna first show you, typically I'd put my phone in here, but my phone does not fit. So I'm just using my phone case to show my phone. And again, it sort of fits if I put it on an angle, but I'd just be worried about the bulging and I'd just be worried about ruining the shape of the bag. So if you're using the smaller coach bag, you might need to put your phone in your pocket or what I do is I just carry it in my hands. I have a pair of sunglasses. So the sunglasses fit in neatly. Let's add our hand cream because for me, my hands are always drying out with COVID. We're going to put our infamous Dior color changing lip balm a scrunchie, and a face mask. Now this is a face mask that my grandma made me. Lately I've been using more medical grade ones, but we're just putting the homemade face mask in to show what fits. And there you go. That is what fits in the iconic Coach heart bag. So there we go. That is everything that I fit in the Coach heart bag. I will say it's quite a small bag. It does hold more than you think but it is a really, really lovely bag to carry around. So let's compare that to the Kate Spade. And here we have our beautiful Kate Spade bag. Off the bat, a compact wallet does fit, as does a mini pochette. We're gonna pack that mini pochette in a moment with what I would carry in it. But I also just wanted to show you that the iPhone also fits quite neatly. So already, if you are the kind of girl or guy who needs your phone in your purse, the Kate Spade is going to be the one for you. So let's pack our mini pochette. So in my mini pochette, I would have a hand sanitizer, a Dior lip balm because uh, TikTok, a scrunchie, a face mask, and this could of course be a disposable one, a hand cream, and my AirPods. 
So as you can see, that fits in the mini pochette quite comfortably. So let's put our compact wallet in. Let's put our mini pochette. We're going to put our iPhone, which I'm going to be filming something on TikTok soon. So I have that set up on my TikTok stand. And then the last thing I would fit in here would be my key pouch. Now, as you can see, that was a little bit of a struggle to close. So what I would personally do, I don't really see the need for a full compact wallet, but I did want to show you that it fits. So instead what I would do is I would actually just use our card holder. That's my preferred wallet at the moment, our keys. And there we go, fits quite nicely. There is a touch of bulging. So I'd say if you wanted to avoid any signs of bulging, I would just have them floating around in the bag. So they do fit, but I just, I don't like that bulge. Just given the other things we have in the bag. So instead we have our lip balm, our hand sanitizer, our hand cream, scrunchie, AirPods, and our face mask. And as you can see, that fits a lot neater and it makes better use of this oddly shaped but very sweet bag. I just want to show you that when you do it this way, you can also fit your sunglasses in there. And so there you have it. That is what I would be carrying in my Kate Spade heart shaped bag. I do just want to note that there is extra room. So, you know, if you wanted to put a little card holder, maybe an extra lip balm or a powder, you can do that. But I wouldn't really recommend stuffing it anymore because you don't want to do anything to compromise the shape of the bag. And there you go, that is what fits in the Kate Spade heart shape bag. Okay, so we've seen what fits inside the bags. I just wanted to share a little bit of information about purchasing them. So I'm going to leave links down below where you can order them from the Kate Spade Surprise Sale and the Coach Outlet website. The Kate Spade Surprise Sale website is effectively, it is effectively the outlet website. But for my Canadian friends, what I want you to remember is that the pricing on the Kate Spade Surprise Sale is in US dollars and the bag is currently more expensive online than it is in store. Here's the trick, whether or not you live near a Kate Spade outlet, you can purchase it from the Kate Spade outlet. All you have to do is call your local Kate Spade, doesn't matter, anyone in the country. Personally, I purchased mine at Von Mills, I had a great experience um, and I'm gonna leave a vlog link down below. But just call up Von Mills and say, hey, I want the heart shaped bag. You know, they do have two different ones. They have the larger one and they have a smaller one, which I'll be featuring later. Um, but just call up and say, you know, I want the pink heart shaped bag. They're gonna know what you mean. They also have it in a sort of fuzzy one. They have it in a few different colors, but they know, okay? This bag, they get so many calls about it. So you just have to call them up and tell them you want the bag, give them your email address. They will email you a payment link. You can pay it online. You just pay for the bag. You give them your address on the phone and then, I'm not even kidding, they will just ship it to you for free. They will ship it to you for free. Now, I paid approximately $239 Canadian for this bag, but on the Kate Spade surprise sale, it's $239 American. And if you are used to shopping in American dollars, you know that is a significant savings. Now, I will say for the coach bag, I've seen a ton of TikToks of people lining up to get it. So you're probably not gonna be able to call, but it won't hurt to call the local coach outlet because again, you never know. But I actually purchased mine on Poshmark. Now, I don't feel that I paid too much for this bag. I probably paid a little bit more than it would have been if I got it in the store. But in my defense, I actually paid for the majority of the bag with credit I had from Poshmark from some sales I've done over the last couple of months. So for me, this kind of just feels like a fun little cute freebie. And this is actually the first coach bag I've added to my collection in years. Now, I will say the leather on the coach bag is a bit nicer. It's more of a pebbled leather, has a nice texture to it, feels really, really substantive and luxurious. Whereas I will say the Kate Spade one feels a little bit more like an outlet bag. Now, when it comes to which bag is better, honestly, it all depends on your style. You're not gonna go wrong. I will say that the Kate Spade bag, it's going to fit a compact wallet. It's going to fit your iPhone which if that's a deal breaker for you, then go with the Kate Spade. I'll also say if your style is a little bit sweeter, um, a little bit more soft and more feminine, then you might really enjoy this bag. I have a lot of love for this bag, but I have to say if I could only have one, it would be the Coach bag. I love the added dimension that you have between the two-tone, I think that really adds to the bag. I love the kind of the chunky, um, kind of the chunkier hardware on such a small and delicate bag. I think it just really, 
adds, again, a little bit more dimension to the bag, a little bit more visual interest. I love how small the bag is. I've gotten a ton of compliments wearing this out and about. The only thing I don't love is the two compartments, but you know what, I make it work. And while this bag is a little bit more annoying to use, I think it is so much cuter that to me it makes up for it. Overall, I love both of these bags. I recommend them both. I enjoy them both. But like I said, if I could only have one, it would be this sweet little coach bag. So I would love to hear from you guys down in the comments which bag you prefer, if you were going to purchase one, which one you would purchase, if you could only have one, which one really draws you in. And I'm gonna leave all my tips on how to purchase them linked down below. The one thing I will say for ordering from the Kate Spade surprise sale is you know they're in stock. Sometimes these bags do sell out at the outlet, so you've just gotta call around, but I'm fairly confident that if you wanna get your hands on either of these bags, you still can. So thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe, especially if you love luxury and high-end makeup and handbags. If you love Kate Spade, you love Coach, you love Outlets, you love Louis Vuitton, you love all the beautiful things, and you love Charlotte Tilbury, then I'm your girl. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. Mwah.